The United States said Iran is responsible for attacking two oil tankers in the Gulf of Oman today. NTD reporter Jeremy Sandberg has the details on the increasing tensions in a key trade route for crude. This assessment is based on intelligence, the weapons used, the level of expertise needed to execute the operation, recent similar Iranian attacks on shipping, and the fact that no proxy group operating in the area has the resources and proficiency to act with such a high degree of sophistication. The Norwegian-owned Front Altair and the Japanese-owned Kokuka Courageous came under attack near the strategic Strait of Hormuz south of Iran, a trade route where 30 percent of the world's seaborne crude oil passes through. The U.S. Navy rushed to assist the ships, one of which burned for hours and was left adrift after the crew evacuated. U.S. oil and Brent crude both finished up 2.2 percent on the day after spiking 3 and 4 percent respectively following news of the attacks. Last month, the United States alleged that Iran used mines to attack four oil tankers in the same area. Iran denied any involvement. Its foreign minister called the timing of today's incident suspicious as Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is visiting Iran on a diplomatic mission. According to a U.S. defense official, an unexploded mine was found on the back of one of the ships, the same type of mine that Iran used in the tanker wars in the late 1980s. Pompeo said the attacks on the ships are part of a campaign of escalating tension by Iran and a threat to international peace and security.